Shimalev now, square in this place where one day they will execute people. Now there is food all over. So I think it's pretty a dramatic change. And when this kind of change happen, I think there is art in the middle. There is something good. And I can feel vibrancies of alegría, happiness. So we're gonna explore and get the juice out of the street food night market of Gemma Lefna here in Marrakesh. Bonus. We have uh, escargot here, snails, all over. These are the snail gas. Let's meet them. It's here. Vamos. It's a pisarawi. Pisarawi. I think I've seen it. I think it's famous. I think I've seen it before. Number three, Hassan. Hassan. Hello, Hassan. So this is the snail, guys, which is at the front. And now we are going to the jungle. We're going to the jungle to explore this market because the smells, the textures, the colors are like out of Tatooine. You know what I feel like, guys? Um, yesterday night, we tried this uh, merguez, a tiny bit, and it was so delicious. I want to go back to it. What do you think, Etienne? Yeah. Vamos. It would be perfect with a beer, but <laughs> this is not a play for it. This is lamb? This is beef. This is lamb. Chicken with saffron, chicken normally, turkey. The sausage. Cameraman. Uh, Red. Big portion for cameraman. <laughs> Check. No. Ah, no problem, no problem. Wow. Yeah, this is turkey. Wow. Yeah, very nice. Number is 52. 52, I love you too. The best marguerite I ever ate in this year, right here. Doll 52, really amazing. Los hermanos, los hermanos de Ecuador, aquí está, le está dando duro, eh. No hay cerveza, sí. Bueno, bonito y barato. Gracias. ¡Qué mira, bobo! ¿Qué pasar? Es la segunda vez que visitar aquí. Oye, ¿la segunda qué? <laughs> I love Marroquel people. I know them so much. Y Macuca. <laughs> they are the Latinos from Africa. Oh, so this is where the party is. This is the nightclub of Marrakesh. There is literally people dancing, people like jumping, people with snakes. And I don't know if I want to bring animals like that in captivity to my channel. I'm kind of very sensitive with that. But one thing I want to tell you, I'm not sensitive with the merguez. So we're gonna go and attack some sausage. Marhaban v. Moracus. You know what I'm saying? Oh, j'adore le picor. 
This is harissa, and this is, I wouldn't say it's olives, it's something else. They get the olive, and then you put it into harissa. Really different, really a very, very taste of olives because the olives are great but then they condiment that in a very special way. This is like the, the vegetables that they give you and we came here specifically to try the bread merguez. The simple merguez, gonna do this. Together? Wow, this is like spicy like to perfection like they put like those uh, spices in a perfect way and then uh, this is mock eggplant and they put cuban salt on it so i'm like okay okay this is probably one of the best merguez i've eaten in my life i started eating this in paris but it was an imitation of this it wasn't like this and uh the eggplant uh, adds that creamy combination of uh, food. It's just divino. And these peppers, they're sweet, by the way. Literally sweet. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna add some spicy here. And I don't know, I don't feel like putting, uh, I don't feel like bread, guys. <laughs> Mm. That's the bite. I would eat that probably like for breakfast like every day. Mm. Juicy, perfectly good. We're gonna try this merguez right here. It's like bright red, it's like almost neon. I love the color. Oh yeah. Usually when you eat some merguez, it'll be like chewy and you'll feel like those blobs of fat. You know the blobs of fat inside sausage? I'm like biting through this and I'm like, it's just pure meat. And what's amazing about the turkey is that it absorbs the oils and the fat very well and it's dry uh, meat. It's delicious. For me, melanzane, okay, eggplant is extremely tricky to make right. I mean, it's so hard to please me with this because this is at the bottom of my list of veggies that I would ever eat. Let's try it. I'm not mad at it. A little plain for my taste. Still amazing though. I actually really like it. Look at this orange potato. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's damn good. Oh, that's like a tater tot on steroids. It's it's like it's almost got that like pumpkin like aftertaste to it. It's delicious. And it's always a cat waiting for food. Give me a little bit of guess. No quiere. Ah, quiere cala. Oh, he just wants love. Nobody gives him attention. Look at him. No, I know what's wrong. I think it's an 8.5 out of 10 because the quality of the food in, in Morocco, it is incredible. But also it has such a nice view. You can see everything that is going on, the party, and you have everything and it's very well. Uh, the, the servers are great. So yeah, that was really good. Now I feel like some snails. What do you think, Etienne? Gemma and Esna here in Marrakesh. This is like a uh, typical like sandwich, potato, egg, cheese. I feel like it's a little bit dry, but it's very popular. Because personally, I like juice. Gia, 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 This is what we ate today, guys. But with the lamb, and the specialty here is the head of the lamb. And the good thing about this market, is like everything is very well organized. We're going this way, just in front of the party, to make a degustation of tea. One of the best things that Morocco has. Let's go. Stall 72, come on. Bonsoir, ça va? C'est vous? C'est bon. Avec ton fils? Yes. 
Look at this thing. It must be hot. Thank you. Let's try. Stall number 72 here. This is not the tea. Wait, 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 wait. This is not. What is this? Tea? Wow. Wow. Uh, Abadjan. Look at this tea. Oh, in Morocco. <laughs> I like the steel one. All these spices, all that. I sent you here, and when he was like bringing it, the smells is incredible. I don't know the name of this. Let's get an end though. Oh wow! It reminds me of the tea that I drank in Hong Kong. It's bitter, but it's good. Normally they put tons of sugar, anything like that. What is the name? Ah, uh, ginger tea. Ginger tea. Oh, it's ginger tea. One of my favorite, but this is another take on ginger tea. And that's the sun. Very good looking. Oh. She looks like a Hollywood star. Nice. Honey ginger. This is incredible. Galanga, ginger, canel, clou de girofle, cardamom, mustard, and lavender. Wow, all that in a cup. Take it. Ooh, yeah, it's good. It's good with the with the ginger, it's good. This is Marrakesh, con sabor exotic. That's what it is. It's crazy, yes. like, I've never imagined that it was going to be like this. Okay, I'm already baptized. No, I'm already accepted here. Sheikh Hamura. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. That was incredible. Come here, stall number. Number 72. 72? Uh, 72. Number 72. Thank you. Woo! This is purple leaving English. Look. I'm not that excited. She's I just, gonna teach you. She's gonna I, teach you. Come on, come on, come on. <coughs> oh my okay. goodness. It smells so strong. I'm telling you, you have to smell it. Okay, you Mira. try one. It's <laughs> actually good. Damn. <coughs> it has an aftertaste. <coughs> Fire. Ah, special. It's definitely special. No, no, it's a yeah, no. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> That's very strong, the taste, right? Like, like kind of like stays in your mouth and you just want to drink a bottle of Coca-Cola, but it won't go away. That's the kind of taste. Interesting, though. Right, yes, it's so cool. Oh, nice, the yellow stale here in Morocco, guys. All right, guys, that was it. That was a sneak peek into what it is. One of the most vibrant markets in Africa and in the world. The Jemaf now market. We had fun. We drink tea, but everything, it's great. Everything was tasty. Everything is top-notch uh, ingredients. So that was it. The 
This is Marrakesh. We love you, Marrakesh. We are back. We're gonna be back. Thank you very much. Shukran.